I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey Abigail, yeah. guess what dad might be buying today? What? Uh, guess. Um, I don't know. I might be buying a train, a real train. That's right, this morning we are checking out a train. It's a small train, mind you. It is a 1930s track inspection car. This would have been for the guys to go and check out the telegraph lines along the railway. So it is kind of small. In fact, it's just a two-seater. It's about five foot by four foot, something like that. But I've never owned a train, and let's see if it's the one I'm gonna choo-choo choose. And today I'm taking the little Chevy HHR on the road. It's really good on gas, and I'm not gonna be putting a train in my car anyway. I mean, I'm gonna have to figure out how to ship this thing or get it transported. In fact, I don't even know where I'm gonna put it if I buy it, so uh, <laughs> I guess I'm a little impractical um, and a little bit crazy maybe, but hey, you only live once. So. Uh, the place we're going to today is uh, Drayton Valley, Alberta. It's located about 45 minutes to an hour outside of Edmonton, just west of the city, towards the beautiful Rocky Mountains. Um, we won't be able to see the mountains from there. They're just a little further, but um, nice country, nice countryside. And um, uh, my mother-in-law and uh, Charlie live up that way. And if you remember Charlie, he showed us around uh, one of his scrapyards. He was the, I think, farm field or fall harvest, I think, video that I did. And yeah. you saved him from that place so he's going to squish them all? Yeah, I bought him and stuff. I have him in the so um, he's going to come along and check this place out too since it's like five minutes from their house. So we're going to stop, pick up Charlie, and um, go check out this train. But first got to head on the highway and do put in an hour driving. <laughs> And so you're probably asking yourself, who in their right mind would buy a train? Well, I guess uh, one of those people who's uh, maybe a little bit crazy is me. Um, I think it's cool, I think it's a neat thing. I don't have the space for something like that. I mean, I have the space to store for a short while, but not forever, um, nor would I do anything with it. But I do have customers that might. Uh, people collect all sorts of things, um, from steam tractors to locomotives to semi trucks to all sorts of stuff. So um, the more space a person has, um, sometimes the toys get a little bit bigger. And this is a big toy, this is a big thing. So that's why I'm going to have a look at it and see if I've got a couple of customers who might be interested. I'm really feeling like I need a bigger shop because I definitely don't have room at the store. Barely have room in my house for something like this. Um, so I'm going to have to figure it out. Ideally. Uh, I can pre-sell it before I have to take it anywhere and just deliver it right to whoever uh, is going to buy it right to their house. Yeah, this is just some absolutely beautiful country out here, nice rolling hills, great farmland, um, and where my uh, wife's family homesteaded. So they've been out in this area for well over 100 years and uh, just an amazing place to come. The kids love it out here too. So fortunately, this is right by my mother-in-law's uh, where we're going today, but uh, lovely, lovely piece of land. Out here. And somewhere along the way, I picked up a Charlie. <laughs> so we're off to see not only if this is a cool train, but also if Charlie knows the guy that has it too, so. So right now, I don't really know that I'm following the right car because uh, we pulled up to it and the fellow just kind of kept driving. <laughs> I don't know what type of car he's driving, so I could be following a complete stranger to their house right now. If they start weaving and driving crazy, like I'll know that uh, they're worried that we're following them. Normally, uh, you kind of meet somebody on the side of the road, and they, you know, you have a little conversation. They follow me up to their place, but uh, this guy kind of just waved a little and uh, kept driving. So uh, we're going to see if this is hopefully the right car. <laughs> and there she is. So it's not real big, hey. No. And this is a 1930? Uh, I would say probably 40s. 40s, okay. Here, let me get out of your boat. Oh, no. So how, do you, how did you come across this one again? I can't remember what you were saying. Well, I was out at the East Coast <clears throat> on vacation. Okay, yeah. And I stopped uh, at a, a rental car, and I stopped to gas up. And I got one of those little buy and sell books. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was in there. And how long ago was that? Oh, 15 years. 15, 20 years, something like that? Yeah. Well, well let's have a look at her. But these, oh. 
are winter wheels. And so what makes them a winter wheel versus the extra rib? The rib? Break, oh, in case there's snow on the track. Breaks or? the ice. Oh, breaks it up. Yeah. Okay. See, out in that country, they have lots of, uh, ice, of ice, uh, well, freezing rain. So, and you've got, this is the canvas. That's the canvas of the front. See, all the ice and grass is gone. Yeah. That. Yeah, it, it would have worn out. Yeah. So where would the canvas have gone? Just right in these little holes here? And yeah. Made a little roof, more or less? No, just just a wind guard. Oh, wind guard, okay. Yeah. 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 Wheels. And so it looks these, like... These are for snow. So somebody started to restore it, it looks like. It's been painted. Yeah, but they didn't, they didn't do a good job. No, it, it could stand it a needs, better paint job. It needs yeah. to be redone. Do we know what rail line this was from? Eh? Do we know what rail line this was from? You know, I looked last night. I, I got the whole story on the thing, I think, at home. Okay. But I've got to look through some more stuff. But everything is here that it would have had. See, here's the flags. And... Yeah, the flags and everything. And so this would have been uh, track inspection, right? Pardon? This would have been track inspection or a uh, telegraph. Telegraph. For the poles. Telegraph lines. Okay. Yeah. Another three feet longer than this. Which ones? The uh... section. Okay. Like the section crews. So this is probably about one of the smaller ones that they ever made, hey? Yeah. Well, it's easy to store. Well, that's 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 why I was interested in it because you don't see them out here. No. So if I end up buying this, how would we get it back? Like, um, is the trailer still insured right now? Oh yeah. So we could probably hook up a truck, take it into town, and bring the trailer back. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to find a big abandoned section of track. I guess in the States, there's clubs that take these things oh, out. Oh, yeah, they go for days. Yeah, and they go, they make a picnic out of it, and yep. you know, there's five or six or eight of them that go out. And Oh, sure. Yeah, fun thing. Okay, so the deal is done. I bought a train. So um, the fellow's going to bring it into town for me in the next week or so. I don't know where I'm going to put it right now, probably at home, because um, I don't think it'll fit through my doors at the shop. But um, yeah, pretty cool piece. Now I just have to find a buyer for it. And here it is in my garage. And if you thought you had strange stuff sitting in your house right now, well, I have a little track inspection train engine. Now it's not real big. Um, it's, you know, about four and a half feet by five feet. And that's what's interesting about this one. Most of these track inspection cars were at least a good couple feet longer. This one is very specific to telegraph inspection, which makes it kind of rare and kind of cool. And this one did come with the axe and the starter crank and pretty much all the accessories, the canvas front, which I'll have to wash off and put on, uh, the winter wheels, which have this extra little bead for breaking ice and snow. So it's a very complete unit. Uh, as you can see, it's still part primer and it's meant to be more of a darker yellow, almost like a caterpillar yellow. So they painted it kind of the wrong color. I'm going to repaint it the proper color and maybe discover what uh, sort of decals it would have had on it at that time. But it is home, it is safe and sound, and it's just the cutest little engine. And this is the engine, which is essentially just a little hit and miss engine, mounted uh, on the side in here. And that would have done the trick to get this going down the rails pretty darn quick. And I've given the old canvas a bit of a rinse. I don't have the right length of pole that goes in here right now, so I kind of got it propped up with some pipe I had lying around. But at least it'll give it a chance to dry off. Um, I will need to get the windscreen repaired. There would have been sort of like a plexiglass in there, or not plexiglass, like a thin clear vision plastic panel and that's gone long since deteriorated but um yeah you can definitely start to see it's looking like something now so next step will be uh waiting for the water to dry i wash it off i blew all the uh old dust away i repainted the rust spots with primer and i'm gonna get the right color of paint tomorrow and repaint it back to its proper glory which is more of a darker cat yellow so that's day number two and that's it for another day. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll try and post some pictures um, on our Facebook page and on Instagram as well. You can follow us on Facebook uh, under Curiosity Incorporated and on Instagram at Curiosity Inc. YEG. 
our website at curiosityedmonton.ca and uh, tune in for more videos. Always lots of adventures happening. I can honestly say I've never bought a train before. So today was a first for me. And um, yeah, I'd love to get that thing out on the track. Maybe that'll be a future video if I can find some abandoned railway down the road. But uh, thanks again. We'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.